I thought uh, we'd do a little bit of an update on our morel mushroom bed that we started. I don't really expect there to be too much going on because uh, from what I understand morel mushrooms can take quite a while to be established but we'll go have a look and see what's going on anyway. It's a beautiful morning to walk around and check on things anyhow. Last night there were frost warnings in low-lying areas so we'll go check our tomatoes also. Well, yep, looks like mulch. Let's see if there's even anything going on in here. It looks pretty wet, but, oh, look, there's worms. I don't even see any mycelium growing. So, uh, well, that could have been a waste of effort. <laughs> well, I don't see a thing going on. Let's go look at the other side. Hmm. I don't see anything here either. Well, that's pretty disappointing. I thought there would be at least something going on. Yeah, more worms. I guess at least the soil is healthy. Well, yeah. my mycelium looked really good that I put down too. I thought there would be at least a little bit of growth or something going on, but I don't see anything. So since that's a bust, why don't we go over here and see how sad the tomatoes are I don't think it frosted here last night I think it was only down to 37 but uh, that's pretty low for tomatoes so we'll see if they're a little bit droopy this morning well that one doesn't look too bad and that one looks pretty good Nope, looks like they're all just fine. This one was sitting in some water, so he looks a little pale and yellow. Because we had uh, about, uh, let's see, seven inches of rain in the last two weeks. So he got a little waterlogged. Here's the rest of my garden. Everything seems to be doing okay, even with all the rain. These two rows are potatoes. I've got uh, red Norlands and Kennebex. In the cans here, I've got some Brussels sprouts. These, let's see, one, two, three. These four cans are Brussels sprouts. And then I have a red pepper plant. And a couple of green peppers. Oh, that's my eggplant. It looks like he's not enjoying the cold very much. In this row, I've got carrots, which I'm surprised anything came up at all because we've had so much rain. I was wondering if the seeds didn't get washed away, but it looks like they're doing just fine. There's a couple areas where there's blank spots, but I don't know if I'll even try and fill those in or not. It looks like we have a rogue potato from last year. Mm -hmm. 
hairs don't look bad. It's pretty bare in a few spots. I might throw a few more seeds down. This row is uh, butter beans. Looks like they're not coming up quite yet. It looks like the cats have been out in the garden. That's always wonderful. The neighborhood is full of wild cats. There's my onions. I've got candy apple red onions and walla walla sweet onions. Well, those are looking okay, but they could use a little sun. You can see that they're pale colored. Yeah, these are green beans on this end here. I don't see them coming up yet. And I think in this spot I put some more butter beans. This is the first year I'm growing those. Oh, look at this. Isn't this nice? These are my kohlrabis. And it looks like the rabbits have been eating the tops off of them. That makes me really happy. Rabbits are such a pain in the ass. If it was winter, I'd shoot them and eat them. And more onions. Down here we have radishes. Why couldn't they eat the radishes? I really don't care if they eat those. I planted those for other family members that actually like them. I'm not too keen on radishes. This one looks like it's ready. Oh, not very big. It's a mouthful. I'll come back and get that one and check the rest of them to see how they're doing. And on the end here, I've got um, chrysanthemums all in a half circle. And in another half circle on the inside, I've got gladiolas. Looks like they're starting to come up. I planted 35 gladiola bulbs out here in a semicircle. And on the very end, I always plant uh, marigolds for some extra color. You can see those. And here's the peas that I actually planted for the rabbits. I don't even harvest these. I just put them out here so they'll try and eat those and leave the rest of my stuff alone. And it looks like they've been grazing really hard on them. They've chewed all the tops off on them. I guess that wasn't enough for them, though. <laughs> and there's a view of my park. And later today, I'm going to be putting a heavy-duty park grill out there. So this summer, I can grill out here in the park and enjoy it and then maybe a little bit later I'm gonna get a picnic table to put out there so I can sit and enjoy things so that's just a little bit of a walk around maybe later I'll take you with me when I bury a couple of shiitake mushroom blocks okay going to be trying to uh, start some King Strafaria mushrooms growing out in my park. I started this mycelium myself. It's just uh, sawdust with some King Strafaria spawn on it. So we're going to take that and maybe put a little bit of a layer of sawdust down and then put the spawn on top of it and then put another little layer of sawdust and then wait a lot of waiting when you're growing mushrooms it really teaches patience I did a little landscaping out here you can see make it look better, help keep the weeds down. 
This is my elderberry bush. The wind has been knocking the heck out of it. You can see it's broken some of the smaller, newer growth off. So, let's see, where do we want to put this? This is where I throw my used mushroom blocks. I just kind of spread them out and I'm using them as a kind of a mulch. But there has been a couple times when I came out here and actually picked mushrooms off of this. So, mushrooms keep growing off of it, even though it's all spread out. Maybe I'll just put it on top right here. I think that's what we'll do. Smells awesome. So, just dump it on out there. Maybe. Crumble it up a little bit. Feels pretty moist must have got that bag a little bit too wet when I made it. I think we can spread it pretty thin and the mycelium will spread out. All right, I think that's good enough. Get that in there. And then over here, I have a bag of wood pellets that I accidentally let sit out when we got all that rain and that somehow there must be some small holes in here because as you can see water must have got in there and they're expanding this thing is just expanded and swollen so that this whole thing is really hard so somehow I'll get this over there and I'm gonna spread it out on top of there hmm. I think that's a little more than 40 pounds that's what it started out as until it absorbed a bunch of water all right Cut this thing open and just start spreading. Oh yeah, water got in there. You can see they're all crumbly and they're not even pellets anymore. That's okay, we're gonna use it for something else. I usually use this stuff to make mushroom bags. But today, we're gonna use it and make a mushroom patch. If I can get it out of the bag. Still see some pellets in it. So let me cut this a little more. Spread that around. Get the mycelium covered up. I'm just gonna use this whole bag if I can get it out. And then, of course, the next time it rains, 
it'll dissolve it more into sawdust. Stuff swells an amazing amount. Way more than double its original size. Okay. And with the rest of it, I'm just going to put it along the edges here and use it as kind of a mulch. I sprayed these weeds, as you can see, they're dying. So. Spread this out. Some of the other mushroom I see will probably eat through it and give me a few more mushrooms. And it'll help keep the weeds down. There we go. Hopefully, maybe even by fall, we'll have some King Strafaria mushrooms out here. As always, I'll keep you updated. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and support my channel. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to bury a couple of shiitake blocks back in my park and uh, we'll just leave them out there and maybe they'll produce a few more shiitake off there for me but I can't seem to get them to fruit for a second time sitting on my deck so I'm going to get them off my deck make some more space and maybe out in the park they can do their thing and I can get some more shiitakes if not they can decompose out there and add nutrients to the soil and that'll be great this is supposed to be a Pia Pino bag that doesn't seem to want to do anything either Here's my shiitake blocks. Yeah. So, put those in the bucket. They did fruit once. I got about uh, 12 to 14 ounces off of each block. So. Now we'll take them out in the park and bury them and see if we can get some more off of them. Oh, while we're up here, I can show you this. They're drying out pretty good, which, yeah. I don't know if they're going to make it, but they were lion's mane mushrooms. It's really hard to keep things moist enough right now. The humidity has been dropping down to 35% and the wind's been blowing. I've got them covered to try and keep some humidity in, but it doesn't look like it's doing the job. I might get one or two fruits off of it, but they're not looking that great. So, all right. That's one of the many neighborhood dogs. Never peaceful around here. There's always a dog barking somewhere. if we can find a spot for these I'm thinking right here I've got uh, cucumbers planted that's what that is and over here I've got some ornamental pumpkins planted and I'm thinking maybe right at the edge here 
think I'm going to stand them on end and bury them. That way moisture can come up through the soil and maybe keep them a little more hydrated. And with all that hydration, I might get a few more mushrooms off of them. Who knows? I'm always experimenting with something. Maybe just a little more. Get that loosened up. Alright, let's see how deep they sit in there. Uh, it's a little more than half buried, but I think we're going to go with it. keep them separated. That one's about half buried, so that'll work. There we go. There. And we'll just wait and see what happens. If they don't make me any more shiitakes, at least they'll decompose and enrich the soil. And that's always a good, good thing. It's good to recycle stuff. So I'll keep you updated on that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.